Get out of my face! Phoebe! What is she? Phoebe! <sighs> we are Tamara and David, an Anglo Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. So welcome back to the vlog. We're in Banja Luka. It's a beautiful um, Tuesday. Beautiful Aft Tuesday. Afternoon. Yes. I want um, people to see my eyes because these are just normal lenses because I need to go see the uh, optician. Optician again to change the dioptry and then I'll get the anti-reflexive ones. Anti-reflective. Um, we're going to go and have um, a Chicago hot dog or something like that at a we restaurant. We went to see the Inspector Babbage. At uh, immigration. At immigration. I need to get another year's temporary residence temporary visa. Temporary residence and then we're going to go to a new restaurant. We are waiting for my little niece to join us yeah. to try Chicago hot dogs. Yeah. Or you're going to have something else. I don't know, but I think I'll have a Chicago hot dog. Yeah, Mr. Babbage is really cool. He works for the Bosnia and Herzegovina Immigration Service. Uh, I'm a foreigner. So I suppose I'm a refugee or whatever. No, I'm not a refugee. I'm definitely a foreigner. Um, and like all That's other married to local. Yeah, and like all other countries. The proper criminal. <laughs> <laughs> and like all other countries, if you are a foreigner, you need to register and provide certain documentation. This year though, I don't have to provide documentation from the UK that I'm a good citizen and I obey the law. I have to do it from the local police. Yes. So Tam helps me out with all that. And of course you have to pay the fee. But it's which is not too bad. How many fifty marks? Which is what? 60 60 dollars uh, 50 75 euros 75 euros Which so yeah not too bad so i'm getting out and about we're having fun today we are the weather is lovely so. i'm going to see the doctor today as well because david needs to do some blood tests before his physio starts yep we're trying so. not to go on about my ankle because you're most probably getting bored with it no. but yeah it's a beautiful day here um in the center of banya luca it's just like my summer all starting because it's been spent indoors a lot. Do a little shrank for people. Show them my city. It is such a beautiful city. I am really blessed to be living here. Green as green can be. I do think maybe I got it wrong, but they did said in the Yugoslavian days that this was one of the greenest cities that there was. I'm hobbling a little bit. Welcome back to the vlog. It's a Wednesday and the plan today that we were going to, well not necessarily me because I'm still sort of like hobbling around, right? But uh, the plan was that Tam and her dad were going to start to take in all the grapes so that we can start to get the process of making our wine underway but it's not going to happen i don't know if it's going to happen tomorrow weather says well, the weather apps is going to be fine tomorrow but it's been hurtling it down with rain all night it's very chilly at the moment in fact um when i go back downstairs in a minute tam wants to light the first wood burner fire of of the year of the season rather because we're definitely into autumn i don't know if you can hear it maybe you can but it's been non-stop since last night uh, really uh, it's waterlogged we are on the side of a hill um, downstairs in the front garden it's pretty waterlogged uh, at the moment and i'm very um careful because uh, we've got some wonderful tiles here which are great normally but if you're not too sure on your feet you can slip and i just don't want to go through all that um, agony again so the plan of recording some grape picking and the start of the process of uh, taking the individual grapes off the stems and then um, mashing them initially and then putting them through the grinder and into the butter which is the large vat is not going to happen today so yeah not what i had actually intended for 
uh, week one of October type vlog. Oh, by the way, thank you very much to all those who are giving us super comments, not only on YouTube, but on our Facebook group, our Facebook page, and elsewhere as well, direct messages saying that you're starting to enjoy this sort of daily life vlogs, which Tuesdays and Fridays now, I'm gonna try and do two. I won't be, uh, I won't lie to you. Uh, we're gonna try and work with the YouTube algorithm so that we get maybe more subscribers and um, more likes and shares. Yeah, because if you do like it and you know, you know somebody who's from the Balkans, uh, either living in the Balkans or you're watching this in the Balkans and you have friends that understand English, do share it with them. Um, and if you're overseas in the diaspora, as they call it, whether that's in Australia or Germany or wherever, um, send us a message wherever you are. Um, yeah, let's have some fun, but I think it's time to go back downstairs now and um, yeah, could be that first real wood fire. Apples still to be used. Lovely, isn't it? All our own produce. Not sure what we're going to do with it. Maybe we'll wrap them up. I don't know. It's great, isn't it? Ah, and the first walnuts. That's very therapeutic, by the way. Sitting down and cracking those open and putting those away. More apples. Hi and welcome back to the vlog. It's a sunny day. Well, the sun is out and there's clouds and some blue sky to see. A lot different than what it was yesterday. Raining and miserable. Still chilly though uh, and windy as well. Last night uh, it got decidedly chilly so Tam um, lit our wood burner for the first time this year. It's so cosy, don't you think? When you get that crackling... Um, wood and the sound and the smells it's just one of the nice things for me about autumn you might remember in a video that we did some time ago uh, all our briquettes arriving and this is the wood store it goes back quite a way so this will be our heating fuel for the whole of the coming autumn, winter and early spring possibly. We don't use electricity. There's no gas um, or anything like that. But we use these nice briquettes. As I say, check back um, in the channel. I'll put a link up there. And you can see them all arriving. So this is our central heating and hot water boiler. Um, down there is where all the ash comes out. This is like the actual area where we'll put all the logs in and get that roaring away. And then that will distribute the water, hot water, from this part, which is the tank, hot water tank. And it will go out through this, uh, this array of pumps and pipes around the house and during the summer only and very warm areas we do take electricity through and uh, at times we do get furred up because we've got very very hard water here um, and the elements get furred up so Tam's father has to take this all out where the thermostat is and put something new in so yeah that's uh that's our uh, heating system here in the utility room oh yeah we feed the cats on top of the <laughs> washing machine so we're going to be nice and roasty toasty so that's it for this vlog every tuesday and friday we're publishing now posting on youtube you'll also be able to see this if you're a member of our facebook group as a sneak peek uh, on the facebook group a day before we put it on YouTube. Do share, like and subscribe. That means an awful lot to us. And stay safe wherever you are. Uh, I'm going back indoors now. I'm um, going to rest a little bit more. And Tam's gone shopping, so I wonder what she's going to bring back as a surprise.
well let's hope she brings something back as a surprise while we've still got some sun and some blue skies that's it from Bosnia and Herzegovina for this one <laughs>